Hey y'all, it's Thrifty Tiffany and I am back with a different type of video today. So this video has been requested from a lot of you subscribers. It's a what I eat in a day. So if you're new here, I've recently lost around 40 pounds within the past seven months. Um, my whole family's been kind of on a health kick. We don't do any certain type of diet. We're kind of like low carb, low calorie, just kind of just making healthier choices. And um, yeah, so I wanted to share like what I eat today. And if you're not yet, definitely follow me on Instagram. I share a lot of the dishes that I make over there on Instagram. It's thriftytiffany35. So if you're interested in that, definitely check me out over there. And if you're new, I hope you subscribe. Also, if you're on a weight loss journey, congratulations to you for just taking the first step and just hang in there. You will eventually see results and it will pay off. Just hang in there and just continue to make healthier choices. And when you do wanna splurge, just in moderation, just in moderation. Um, so we're gonna get started here today. The first thing, I have not cut out my coffee. I definitely drink coffee, I drink creamer. Um, so I always start out every morning with coffee and my creamer, and that's it. I just do coffee, creamer, no uh, sugar because the creamer already has enough sugar. But uh, yeah, so this is just a regular coffee. Sipping on that, I'm about to start my breakfast over here. So we're about to get started, y'all. And here we go. For this morning, we're gonna start with boiled eggs. I love eggs mostly every morning. Um, the only times I usually don't have a boiled egg is when I go to Pilates and I have a yogurt or something like that. But today we're going to start with just boiled eggs. I'm just going to make some organic chicken sausage. I usually have two or three of these. No sugar added. I get these from Costco. They're really, really good. So I'm probably going to cook three of these today. I added the eggs to the boiling water. I always like to grab a handful of cherry tomatoes, washed and cut. Today I decided on having one piece of the Dave's Killer Bread. This is the 21 whole grains and seeds. So I'm just having one piece. Y'all, this bread is so good. Also have some already cut up pineapple I'm gonna be using and I always love to have a good kiwi. Cut this up. Okay, so to my toast, I'm gonna add, I love these guac little packets so i'm gonna add some guac to it here's my toast love all the seeds now to add some guac i do a good hearty amount and then you can add seasonings now some of the seasonings i like sriracha parsley bagel seasoning, crushed red pepper, and of course salt and pepper. All right, y'all, my eggs came out perfect, and I gotta cut them. So now to assemble the bowl, we just got our sausages, our chicken sausages. And we're gonna cut our toast, my tomatoes, and the salt and pepper. A little bagel, kiwi, pineapple. All about presentation. It's almost perfect, look at that. Literally. Perfect. Look at that. We're going in with red pepper flakes. If you like it a little spicy. Parsley. I like to pinch it. Everything but the bagel seasoning on the eggs as well. Little couple drops of sriracha. Here's our breakfast. Also, always drink water, y'all. Look who's sitting right here with me. Ella's right here. Some kiwi. Ella's looking at me, y'all. This egg is going to be amazing, y'all. Mmm. Are you wanting some of mommy's food? Are you wanting some of mommy's food? You need a haircut so bad. Your vitamins with some water. So we're gonna start with the GNC CLA. This one is scientifically shown to improve body composition. So I also do Pilates and um, this improves lean muscle tone, fuels energy and fat metabolism without stimulants. This, you take two in the morning, two in the afternoon. So I'll take two of those, one vitamin D3. Get whatever brand y'all, I just, I get whatever, whatever store I'm at. Um, this one is vitamin C, take one of those. Biotin for hair, skin, and nails. And uh, this one, you have to take three of these. A multi woman's vitamin, I love these vitamins. You can get these from Walmart and they're very affordable. So that is my vitamins for now. Switch them up sometimes. We're gonna take this with some water real quick. Just 
I am still in the same outfit because I'm working around the house today. I'm doing laundry, cleaning. Just wanted to show you what I eat in a day. But I use this spicy jalapeno cream cheese. Y'all, this cream cheese is so good and it's not that spicy at all, y'all. Seriously. The, the cheese calms the jalapenos down. I got the smoked salmon. This is from Costco. They do have smoked salmon at like Kroger, other grocery stores. But the ones with a touch of honey are so good. And I like to get smoked salmon that is flaky. I like the flaky kind. They're like in flanks and uh, planks or however you, planks, flanks. I don't know y'all, however you want to say it. But I got those and then we put them on top of cucumbers. So I'm going to cut this cucumber real quick. I'm just going to cut a, a good size thickness of a cucumber. I'm just going to make a couple and these are really nice to actually display on a charcuterie board. Absolutely love them. I'm going to add some cream cheese. Just scoop some on each cucumber. Um, so I just put cream cheese on all of them. And then we're gonna put little pieces of salmon. So you just grab. Like it literally comes off in like flakes. So I'll just take a couple flakes, add it to it. So good, y'all. Well, then I like to add a little grape tomato to the top of it some salt and pepper which I'm gonna do just a little bit all right pepper all right and then you can add if you like a little more heat add a little bit of red pepper flakes I love a good red pepper y'all I love red pepper flakes um, you can add some dill weed dill goes really good with salmon I'll sprinkle just a little bit uh, I'm gonna have to Put my hands in it so just sprinkle a little bit and then sometimes a little parsley this is my little snack um and it's so good hey okay, y'all so it's cold and rainy and i jumped in the car the kids got home from school so kai and i are gonna run to crumble cookie allow yourself to have a treat every now and then we're gonna they have cereal flavored cookies today so i can't wait to show you guys we're gonna go get crumble cookie and it's rainy and wet y'all see when we get there y'all we just pulled up to the place crumble cookie these are the four we're getting all right y'all so we're gonna cut these into four and taste test they're so big, literally you can cut them in four and get it plenty. Hey okay, y'all, I'm about to taste the Fruity Pebble one. This is my little triangle. Ooh, it's going everywhere. And look at that, y'all. Mm. Oh my God. Try the Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I'm just gonna take a bite of this one. Let's try this one, y'all. Oh my God. Reese Puff one. This one is chilled. So it's a cold, it's like a cold cookie. We're gonna taste it one bite. Mmm, uh, cold. Tastes like, mm. just like the cereal. Corn flakes, the corn flakes is actually corn flakes. I don't think it's like a cookie. It's like, like a corn flake Rice Krispie treat thing or corn flake treat. Please get a big thumbs up for me because I'm a cereal girl. Thumbs up. Okay, y'all, so for the kids, I made a easy chicken quesadillas. This is Hello Fresh. So this is their dinner, and I'm gonna get started with mine. Y'all, okay, so for mine, I'm making some asparagus. Also, a chicken tenderloin. Y'all, I swear by these. You get them from Costco, and if you cook them in the air fryer, it's so easy, they come out juicy. Okay, so I have my one tender in there, and I'm gonna use <laughs> lemon pepper. Also did parsley. I also recently hauled this from Dollar Tree, so I'm also going to put this on my chicken since I'm doing lemon pepper. Okay, so to get started with the asparagus, we're just going to put some avocado oil. I already cut, cut and washed the asparagus. Then I'm going to add some salt and pepper, not too much. Some garlic powder, just a little bit. Red pepper flakes. And some onion powder. about to make me a little salad to put with my chicken and asparagus as well tomato little mozzarella basil and balsamic glaze this is one of my favorites okay y'all so i 
went ahead and put it together. Now I just have to sprinkle on the glaze right here and that salad's done. Okay, it looks like my chicken is done. Now I'm gonna add a drizzle of this to the chicken. Let me shake it. And a drizzle of the balsamic glaze. This is dinner. Y'all, the chicken comes out juicy every time from the frozen to the air fryer. It's so good. Morning, y'all. It is another rainy day today. I'm headed into Pilates. I know this is a what I eat in the day, but today so far I've just had water. It is 7.46 a.m. Heading into Pilates and I will see you guys when I get out and show you what I eat when I get out. So this video is going to be more like I wanted to do two days just so you get a good idea of what I eat in a day because um, it's different every day. But so it's going to be like a two day, a two day thing. Okay, y'all. So I just got out of Pilates. I ran into Whole Foods and got me a shot. This is a power shot of organic wheatgrass, ginger and lemon and some essential water. So I finished the other water. So I'm gonna take this little shot. Mm. A little grassy. Okay y'all, so this is my breakfast this morning. We have a yogurt, vanilla yogurt, the Too Good, and it has cinnamon, a little scoop of peanut butter, coconut flakes, and dates. Have two boiled eggs, kiwi, pineapple, and two organic chicken sausages from Costco. And I'll show you uh, the packaging. Y'all, okay, so this is the packaging for the chicken breakfast sausages that I have. Okay, y'all, so I'm headed to Costco and I just stopped at the gas station and got one of these uptime. This is like a energy drink, focus and energy drink, natural caffeine. So as you can see, I was just filming a Costco haul for another video on YouTube, but I wanted to notate that I just snacked on this. I'm gonna finish it. It's a smother, smother fudger peanut butter protein bar and it's by um true bar and i got this from costco and these are absolutely amazing okay y'all so for snack i didn't really have lunch today i had that protein bar that true uh true bar and then this is going to be it and then i'm going to be making dinner tonight but so today i have mango sriracha hummus y'all this stuff is so good i like mango so and sriracha but i got carrots uh cucumbers and then i got this from Lidl, it's the sea salt and hummus, naturally flavored hummus crisp. So I'm gonna dip these in the hummus and just try it, I've never had it. Y'all, these little hummus, I'm going back. I'm getting more. These are so, oh my gosh. Yes, yes ma'am, I'm gonna get a couple. Those are really good. So this is the name, I got them from Lidl. I don't know where they sell them regularly, but so good. Okay, y'all, I have the hummus and stuff, and I just grabbed one of these little, it's little, it's like a little baby one, of uncured turkey pepperoni stick. It's a turkey stick. So I'm eating this, and then we'll start cooking dinner in a little while. For dinner tonight, I have HelloFresh once again. I fixed the kids' HelloFresh yesterday, but tonight we got the one-pan ginger beef lettuce wraps. Um, so good, look at the meat. It looks so good. It's got zucchini, onions, ginger, beef. So good. And um, there's the lettuce and the carrots. And this is going to be my dinner. And it worked out perfect for my diet and everything. That's why I love HelloFresh. This is not sponsored, y'all. But I literally love this company. They have so many options from carb, vegetarian, just whatever, you're, whatever type of diet you're doing, they have it. Um, but this is dinner and it looks so good. So this is dinner and this is going to close out the video for my two day what I eat in a day. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you some insight on some items that I ate to lose weight. Just watch your carbs, watch your calories, water intake, and just make healthier choices. And if you want to splurge, do so, but in moderation. Okay, y'all. So this is like the third day, but I just wanted to do an outro. I, look, I just woke up. I'm actually heading to Pilates. But um, I just wanted to touch bases here at the end of the video and just let you guys know, I eat like this 
pretty much on a daily basis, but the items switch up. I don't do any certain diet at this point. I'm just watching calories and watching carbs. When I first started this journey, I really, really, really was very strict with carbs, but I still allowed myself like natural carbs, like a banana, things like that. Your body does need natural carbs, like a sweet potato, things like that, but just eat it in moderation. Go with the serving size. Um, and at the beginning of any diet, y'all, you're going to feel hungry. You really are, but you just have to push through that. I would say the first three days is probably the worst in any diet. And then once your body gets accustomed to not eating such filling items, like say, mm, like oatmeal or a bagel or waffles or things like that, then your body just will get used to how you're eating and you won't feel so hungry all the time. Uh, just And when you are hungry, drink water. I promise you, you will fill up. Drink water. Eat watermelon or fruits that like fill your body up. Um, and a lot of times I don't eat lunch. I eat more of like a snacky food. So I have a really, my main, my main meal is breakfast. Breakfast has always been my main meal. I literally take pictures of my breakfast on, and post them on Instagram just to show you guys what I eat. And if you're curious of more of what I eat in a day, definitely check me on Instagram, Thrifty Tiffany 35 because I do post a lot of dishes that I make over there for breakfast, lunch, snack, dinner, all the above. And also stay tuned. I'm going to be doing a video. I look rough, y'all. But I'm going to be doing a video of like when I go out and about and I have to eat out things that I eat at certain restaurants. I've shared some on Instagram. Um, but I will definitely do an, a completely different video on all the healthy things that I eat when I'm out and about or at a fast food restaurant, things like that. So definitely let me know if you're interested in that. But um, yeah, this is just what I have. Again, I was never in a certain particular diet. Just watch your calories. Just watch your intake on food. And when you do want something sweet, go for it. But just in moderation. Also, if you do want something sweet, look at protein bars. Find the best protein bar that fits you. And that will give you your sweet treat that you're looking for. Just like Cayman, my son. He loves chocolates and sweets. So he found that Robert Irwin's... Um, protein bar and he's obsessed with it so he gets his chocolate but he gets his protein at the same time so it works really really well but that's the end of this video I don't want to talk your head off um, but if you're on a weight loss journey congratulations to you stick with it stay in there the first couple of days the first week's probably the roughest you just you feel hungry all the time but you will eventually get adjusted um, to that also get out and be active to be honest walk if you can't go, go to the gym or can't do anything, just get out, walk, drink your water. It really does help. And it just makes you overall mentally feel better. And you'll start seeing results and it'll just push you to keep going. So, um, yeah, um, good luck. If you're on the journey, I will continue to post. I always post my grocery hauls on here. If you're interested in things that I buy at the store, I post grocery hauls. I post on my Instagram um, dishes that I make for dinner. I also use HelloFresh sometimes. They have low carb options. Um, yeah, so I'll continue to post that. I do cook with me. Stay tuned. I will be having a cook with me. I'm going to be making um, Philly cheesesteak peppers, like stuffed Philly cheesesteak peppers. So that's exciting. And I also am going to be doing that one video I just talked about where things that I eat outside of the home that I don't make here, um, like when I'm out and about and I want something good to eat. So yeah, so I'll stay tuned for all of those videos. Good luck on your weight loss journey. I'll probably include a picture. I also do pictures and weight. Like I weigh myself randomly on some Mondays and I'll show you my weight loss over there. Um, also show pictures of like just progress with doing Pilates and just my body composition in itself. Um, and hopefully by the summer I can be in a bikini. Who knows? <laughs> but that's a goal y'all. So yes, so definitely stay tuned for that. And I will try posting a picture at the end of the, I will, I'll post a picture right after this slide of, um, of just, you know, my body, I have leggings and stuff on of where I'm at now, but good luck to y'all. I hope you enjoyed this video. I had fun filming it throughout the several days that I filmed it. So I hope you got some good insight and I love you guys and good luck to everyone. And I will see you on the next video. Bye y'all.